Welcome to the Manic Metallic Podcast, where we respect fashion's past, analyze fashion's present, and get excited about fashion's future. I'm Liberty Gaiman, founder and creative principal of fashion media company Manic Metallic. Several times per week, I'll bring you episodes about exciting things happening in fashion, discussion about current issues facing the industry, and the places and people that have made the fashion industry great. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter and follow us on Instagram at the Manic Metallic Podcast and at Manic Metallic, both linked in our show notes. Now, let's get into today's episode. Welcome to the Manic Metallic Podcast. I'm Liberty, your host. In this episode, we're going to be discussing our latest article on the metaverse's impact on the fashion industry. So, let's get this out of the way. What is a metaverse? Well, we can't be too sure, but that's because no one can. We all know what Mark Zuckerberg's told us. This is a guy so enthusiastic about the prospect of the metaverse that he changed his company's name from Facebook to Meta. I, for one, am really going to miss saying, that's so meta, because there's no way that I'm giving Zuckerberg the satisfaction of getting free advertisement from me for his new project. The new Gilded Age titans of Silicon Valley are telling us that the metaverse is the future of the internet. In fact, to hear them tell it, it is the future of society. They've given it this air of inevitability that is honestly a tad unsettling. The metaverse can be accessed via either virtual reality or augmented reality, both of which are exactly what they sound like. Virtual reality, or VR, is a virtual world, and augmented reality, or AR, is the augmentation of your current reality. For slightly more clarity on the difference between those two, check out our full Metaverse article, which we'll link in the show notes below. We're told that we'll be able to do most anything in the Metaverse that we can do in real life. Go to concerts with friends, go to parties, go shopping, and even go to work. I'm not sure how anyone else feels about this, but if I must escape into a fake world, like the metaverse, I want to escape work. I do not want to be doing my real job in a fake world. Why would I waste my time with that? Why would anyone? Does the drumbeat of productivity never cease? Now, in our fake metaverse world, we will need fake clothing. Virtual clothing, if you will. This is where it gets fun. Or not, depending on your take on this concept. The fashion industry smells blood, just like the rest of these large companies. An ability to make piles and piles of money. And that's why they're entering the metaverse. Whatever other reason is given, money is the underlying reason. This is how our system works. And Men of Metallic has no problem with the pursuit of wealth. Everyone wants it. Everyone wants wealth, whether we admit to it or not. We just wish that the industry would be more clear with its reasons for diving headfirst into the metaverse. It seems that we're being bombarded with article after article about this concept that no one has professed to actually want it. I've not talked to one person in my conversations about the metaverse that believes that this is actually an attractive idea. What I've discovered, among many things, the rest of which I'll get to later. What I've discovered, among many things, however, is this concern that we are using the metaverse as a means to escape a world which has become a miserable place and wish to exist in many ways. To be sure, the metaverse could be a way to act out those wild fashion design ideas that no one would possibly want to or be able to purchase in real life because we have to be able to move around in the real world. Form and functionality can be pesky little things. But in a fake world, the metaverse, anything is possible. We could all dress ourselves in the finest of fire, weed, and couture in virtual land. And we can't run around without clothes, even in a non-real world. So we'll want to look like our best selves. I mean, we'll want our avatars to look like their best selves. 
Because these online figures are not us. We exist in a real, physical er reality. These figures are possibly things that we wish that we could be in real life, but can never be or choose to never be for whatever reason. Lots of financial opportunity there, one supposes. But still, the underlying reason for falling headfirst into the metaverse is financial. Let's not kid ourselves. Any opposition to the metaverse is likely to face an uphill climb, however. For example, Decentraland, one of the companies with the metaverse, is hosting a virtual fashion week inside of its metaverse in March of this year, 2022. Multiple companies have popped up to be purveyors of virtual fashion to the masses, with DressX and Zero Tin being two examples. One of DressX's co-founders, Daria Shapovalova, who also co-founded Ukraine Fashion Week, by the way, has a few interesting things to say about digital fashion. I don't particularly agree with what she says, but I will link that interview of her speaking, along with the links to DressX and Zero Tin, in the show notes, if you'd like to take a look at their work. So many people are getting behind this idea, and I'm not so sure that it is a great idea. Possibly one of the most interesting applications of the metaverse concept is by a company called Hodler, who creates real-life jackets, which link to a corresponding NFT that one can wear in the metaverse. So basically, there's a real-life copy of a jacket, and there's a copy of that same jacket in the metaverse that you would get to wear. Those two copies link up with each other. I put links to their work below in the show notes as well. Now, if we're all going to descend into these unreal lands and companies want to make money from the world's escapist tendencies, then connecting real world clothing with the metaverse is a way to cater to those tendencies. Now, back to the concern that the fashion industry is using fake world, the metaverse, to escape issues that are facing us in the real world. And these are issues that I've encountered when discussing the metaverse with others. There seems to be this collective concern that fashion and other industries is using the metaverse to get away from a society that is, to put it bluntly, falling apart. The world that we live in is coming apart at the seams in many respects. We give the example in our article, and we link to a very interesting study of this in that article, we give the example of Miami, Florida being in danger of drowning underwater in, by 2050 if we do not take action to prevent it from happening. Then, there are the mounds of clothes that find their way into deserts because we can't use all of the clothing that the industry produces. That's a more complex subject. We've touched on it in previous articles. Then, then we've got the workers along the fashion supply chain that work day after day hour after hour, and they still starve, and their families still struggle to survive. There's the constant threat of climate disaster in the era that we currently live in, and the fashion industry is still not doing its part to help us to avert those disasters. I mean, there have been positive developments like the Potential Fashion Act in New York State, the Bangladesh Accord, you know, the laws that went into effect in France recently have been great as well. And we've touched on a couple of these in a previous episode of the podcast. And how about the still lagging diversity indicators in fashion? We get that there's work to be done there, but our industry still has work to do on this front. Now, I've gotten very off track, very far off track of speaking specifically about the metaverse and its impact on fashion. But I wanted to make a specific point in doing this. And that point is is that no matter what fancy clothing art that fashion creates to be consumed in the metaverse, the fake world, the problems of the real world will still exist. They will not go away, and by us averting our eyes to them, they never will. They will continue to get worse until we face them. Because only by shedding light onto darkness can we eliminate the darkness that persists. We cannot be afraid to face these issues. We cannot cower into the metaverse while our world, our world, which has given us so much, 
which is our home, which feeds and clothes us, sinks into chaos and devastation. We cannot, as an industry, turn our backs to the plight of the world. We must be a part of positive change. We cannot solve everything, but Manic Metallic believes that fashion is a strong force for societal change. We can start where we will have direct impact. By paying workers along fashion's supply chain fairly, by creating less pieces in each fashion collection, by using eco-friendly fabrics in whatever clothing is produced, by diversifying our businesses and opening up opportunities for those of diverse backgrounds. We need to be present. We should not seek to escape. Last, we'd like to touch on the fact that the metaverse, unlike the World Wide Web, will cost money to access. Now, while the metaverse itself is free, don't get us wrong, doing most anything within it will cost money. And who stands to make that money? Meta. Microsoft, Epic Games, other new Gilded Age titans of Silicon Valley. Ask yourselves, has anyone that you've had a conversation about the metaverse with gotten genuinely excited about the prospect of those platforms? And, you know, anyone that doesn't stand to make stacks and stacks of money from the metaverse? Let's question the motivation behind the creation of these platforms because the excitement of Silicon Valley and the lack thereof by many in the general public means that something isn't adding up. We cannot allow capitalism to run a victory lap while the rest of us wonder how we lost. Manic Metallica is not anti-technology. We're far from it. We advocate for positive technology that has utility and impact on the wider world. We are not sure that the metaverse fulfills either of those. This is the end of our episode. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the metaverse and its impact on fashion. DM us on Instagram. Let's have a discussion. Our next episode is an awesome What Was installment, and we hope that you'll tune in. See you later. Thanks for listening. If you got value out of today's episode... It'd mean a lot to me if you rate, review, and subscribe to the Manic Metallic Podcast. Be sure to tell all of your fashion-inclined friends and co-workers about the podcast as well. This would really help us to spread our message about fashion being an art, discipline, and force for societal change. And don't forget to stay in touch with us by subscribing to the Manic Metallic newsletter and following us on Instagram. Feel free to reach out to us through either of those means. I'd love to hear from you. I'll link these all in the show notes. You're the best. See you next episode.